We're following breaking news tonight. The House has passed its debt ceiling package. Congress is racing to beat next week's deadline in order to avert an unprecedented default on our nation's debt. WGN's Andrea Medina has been following tonight's developments on Capitol Hill. She joins us now with details. Andrea. Hi, guys. Well, the final tally was 314 or 117. Both Democrats and Republicans hoping to avoid a catastrophic default. Let's be clear what the debt ceiling is. The debt ceiling is the nation's credit card. On Wednesday evening, the House debated legislation and reached the vote majority to increase the nation's debt limit to avoid a default, a bill titled the Fiscal Responsibility Act. Take a step in the right direction towards restoring fiscal sanity in Washington. Crack down on record inflation and get our economy on the right track. The U.S. federal government currently owes trillions of dollars and is days away from running out of money to pay its bills. But it would be a catastrophe if we didn't pass it. This vote, we will protect Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid and prevent devastating cuts sought to life-sustaining SNAP and TANF programs. While there has been support from Reminder both sides of the aisle, Reminder the bill has still been met with opposition. A government barreling towards $36 trillion of debt and an absolute devastating burden on the future of this country, on our children and our grandchildren, who are not going to be able to afford homes, not be able to afford to go to school. President Biden releasing a statement saying in part tonight, this agreement is good news for the American people and the American economy. It protects key priorities and accomplishments from the past two years, including historic investments that are creating good jobs across the country. I urge the Senate to pass it as quickly as possible so that I can sign it into law and our country can continue building the strongest economy in the world. Now, the Senate has a short window to vote on this bill. It will need to be passed and sent to the president's desk before Monday, which is when the money is expected to run out. We'll be watching the Senate now. All right. Thank you very much, Andrea.